A veteran Opelika police officer accused of tasing a fellow officer has been fired again. Sergeant Sergio Perez had been terminated from the same department a few years ago. CBS News Miami's Yvonne Taylor is live from Opelika with the officer's reaction. I accepted the recommendation of Chief Otley to terminate Mr. Sergio Perez. Opelika City Manager confirmed Wednesday morning Sergeant Sergio Perez was released from any position that he held with this department for almost three years. His actions endangered his fellow officers and injured one of them. According to Opelika Police, in September 2021, then Captain Perez walked into the police department and tased Sergeant Michael Steele. The police department initiated an internal investigation and according to a report, Steele repeatedly told Perez that he did not want to be tased. The department's investigation was paused when Perez was criminally charged for his actions, but resumed once the case was dropped in January of this year. Our investigation found seven policy violations when he inappropriately discharged his taser inside the police department, causing injury to a fellow officer. Chief of Police and City Manager both stated they were not in their position when Perez was suspended, but they talked to him before reaching a decision. According to our news partners in the Herald, Perez has worked with the Opelika Police Department since 2007. We reached out to Sergeant Perez. He responded via text messages claiming, just last week I reported criminal conduct to include missing evidence to the Internal Affairs Captain. Unfortunately, the police chief and city manager have turned their blind eye to the corruption that I have reported. The former HD director, city manager, and then police chief testified that I was demoted for this event. But as a measure of retaliation, I am being disciplined again as they are doing everything to avoid exposure and facing the music. And obviously these things are triggered uh, every single time uh, incidents has happened with our police. It's part of the collective bargaining agreement. So basically what the city manager as well as the chief of police stated is that they're not surprised that Mr. Perez is alleging retaliation. Nevertheless, they stand firm in their decision of releasing him from a position here. Now, Sergeant Perez told us that by the end of this week, he's planning a press conference with his attorney where he would present his side of the story. We understand that a civil lawsuit may be filed against this city. We are live in Opoloka. Ivan Taylor, CBS News, Miami.